Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Pat Trading Partners on the Bob by Gino. So Bitcoin, we had identified that 46,851 level. I should have put out a, a little video giving the next resistance level again after that, which was 48,300. Did you see here? That's resistance. Remember, look at the candle bodies. Stop focusing on the wicks. Candle bodies will give you a lot more information. So pausing there, coming back, retesting that 46,850 level, now rotating back up. My new projection is the upside, uh, 49,978, so essentially 50,000, 51,132. Then above that, I'll just go to focus on the most recent highs, 52,944. Now this is a great area also to do a reverse harmonics so we're going from the lows on september 21st back to the highs on september 7th so if we get above this uh 50 2950 area 54 613 56 281 are the next levels Key support, which we already tested, 46,851. If we drop below that, there's not enough separation in the rotation zone. So I'm then going back to 44,912. And if we drop below that, then this was a fake breakout to the upside. And I'll go all the way back to 40,700. So those are all my upside and downside levels. But we're starting to get some separation in the rotation zone. So it's key. Your first thing you want to see hold, at least on today's closing basis, is 48,300. And on any pullbacks over the next few days, you don't want it to close below 46,850 because that's going to be then sort of start showing us that this was a false breakout to the upside. Ethereum, Ethereum lagging a bit. Uh, finally, we had this 34,3675 area. Getting through that, but not on a closing basis. That's still where I'll be watching the closing basis. If we get a close above that, then I'm going to target 3594 area, then 3698, so 3700. Support on Ethereum coming in at 3200. That's key. That's where they're separating rotation zone on the dailies coming in. And if you break below that on a closing basis, that would be a false break up to the upside, and we'd be back in this consolidation area, and I'd then start targeting 2765 again to the downside. So that's pretty much it. We're still in this consolidation. It's just showing some bullish tendencies recently, and Bitcoin's acting stronger than Ethereum. And I'll talk to everyone later. Bye for now.